It is time now for our segment, Figgy in Focus, and today our focus is art and activism. Joining me this morning is Figgy Associate Curator, Vanessa Sage. Vanessa, welcome back. Thanks for being here today. Thank you for having me. We know we're talking about something great whenever you're in studio with us, and uh, this is pretty cool. So, Art and Activism at Tougaloo College. It is the title of an exhibition. It is now on view at the Figgy. It's, uh, you've been able to go see it only about, what, a week or so mm -hmm. at at this point. Uh, so talk a little bit about this uh, collection at Tougaloo College and how, you know, what are people going to see? Well, they'll, they will see uh, 33 works of art. So these are fantastic modern works of art ranging from the 1920s through the 1970s. Uh, but they're also going to see the, a story about civil rights. So the unique thing about this collection is that it really merges civil rights and activism with modern art. And uh, the way that the collection developed over time uh, really shows that. And that mm -hmm. story is told within the exhibition as well. I was amazed. I went on to uh, the Figgy's website, which is always great to kind of see what they have going on there, and I read a little bit about this. I, uh, before I was completely clueless on what this was, it is really incredible. Uh, mm -hmm. Tougaloo College, uh, kind of a centerpiece um, in the 60s mm -hmm. uh, when it came to activism, and it is what, located in Mississippi? Yes, it's just outside of Jackson, Mississippi. Um, it was a uh, really a center, a meeting center, an organizational center for the civil rights movement. Uh, Medgar Evers held meetings there. They also organized boycotts and sit-ins, mm -hmm. one of the most famous um, in that Woolworths. Uh, yep. That one was organized at Tougaloo and Tougaloo students and instructors took part in that sit-in. Yeah. And you can uh, you can really see uh, um, a transition too in the art that people are going to be seeing if they go and, and, and check this out at the Figgy. It kind of starts out the earlier art mm -hmm. in one way and it becomes something totally new and different. So you can kind of see the path that it takes through through social justice. Yes, so originally the collection started out with a group of New York artists who were interested in uh, providing access to modern art at Tougaloo mm -hmm. and so they started to send prints uh, to the college mainly and these are from the 20s and the 30s so they were avant-garde European artists but then over time the collection became more focused on activist artists American artists and also artists dealing with the black experience like Romare Bearden Wow, and, that, and those are some of the images that you're seeing on your screen right now, but of course uh, you can go and see these in person up close and uh, learn about this incredible history and this incredible story at the Figgy. And as always, for more information about any event happening, activities, and exhibitions like this one at the Figgy, all you have to do is head to figgyartmuseum.org. As always, Vanessa, thank you so much for your insight. We appreciate it. Thank you.